we all know that according to convex concave rule whatever movement is happening outside the joint is exactly in opposite direction to the whatever movement is happening inside the joint but here is the question what will happen in the saddle joint for example your first cmc joint of thumb or sternoclavicular joint let's clear your doubts about the sternoclavicular joint in this video so sternoclavicular joint is also kind of saddle joint which performs four movements which is elevation depression protraction and retraction when you are performing elevation and depression the joints acts as a convex concave rule so basically when you are performing elevation the clavicular head goes in downward direction which is in opposite direction but when you are performing protraction retraction it acts as a concave convex joint which means when you are performing protraction even the clavicular head moves in the anterior direction along with the protraction and posterior direction along with the retraction so this is how we can remember the mobilization for this joint 